Today I'll be working on an 11 by 14 inch hardboard canvas and I'll be painting paper, stenciling, and using some modeling paste for some nice texture. So let's get started. I mix a spot of green, dark green into my red to make a little darker red and then some red into my yellow to make a little more golden yellow. And then I'm just putting a nice base coat onto my paper. I brush off some of the excess paint and then just go in to my red and do the same thing with it. And then I'll do the same thing with my navy blue. I mix up some light gray with using my white and a little bit of my dark gray. I also have a little navy out and then I'm going to use the side of my brush to swipe on each of the different colors until I have a nice sky looking background. Mixing up a little bit more of that golden color and putting out some green and some more red. And now I'll just start accenting all of my base papers with my different stencils and uh, a few different household items just to have a nice bit of interest. Using a piece of non-slip mat backing, I don't know what you call this stuff. Some bubble wrap. This is one of those wire kitchen scrubbers that I just took a piece off of. A mason jar lid. And finally, an old gift card. Next, I will mark and cut out a bunch of different size trees. I use my mask to pencil on my background heels and then I'm going to go through and kind of get a rough idea of how I want to uh, arrange my trees. Snow will be covering up the bottom portion of my canvas, so I'm not really worried how the bottoms of my trees are going to sit. Painting on a nice layer of white for my background hills. And while that is drying, I'm going to go around each one of my trees with whatever my main color is and put a nice little edge with my liner brush just to finish my edges off good. Couldn't find my original camera footage so I'm showing you on some different trees here that I cut just using my little chip brush and some pearlized white and I'm just swiping it gently on uh, to give a little bit of sparkle to my trees. Now it's time to decoupage my trees on. And I like to put a little bit of Mod Podge down, smoosh my papers, make sure that I've got any bubbles out, and then a nice coat on top. And then when I'm all done with all of my trees, I will tap all over my canvas, just barely kissing it with a couple of baby wipes just to make sure my texture is all the same and everything is nice and even. <laughs> Once my canvas is dry, I use my second mask to mark out my lower heels and then now I'm going to apply a nice layer of modeling paste. Using my star stencil and some white paint and a dauber, which is, to me, a dauber is a makeup sponge with a close pin with about a half inch sticking out the bottom. And I'm just going to apply some stars in that beautiful sky. Now I'm using a little bit of Mod Podge out on my palette 
and I'm going in and dabbing on a little Mod Podge on my bigger stars and then using a little bit of translucent glitter on top. And then I'm adding a little bit to the tops of my trees with my liner brush. Applying some Mod Podge and glitter to my hills. Finishing up with a nice coat of Mod Podge and then I'll wad up a paper towel and I'll kiss the whole canvas gently just to make sure my texture is all the same and I don't have any brush strokes. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you'll join me next time.